So I guess it, I guess it starts with the, with the, the peaks that are more accessible um, and are shorter trips um, and are less technical. So by their very nature, they're trips that are gonna be welcoming people into the world of mountaineering. So Mirror Peak in Nepal, nearly six and a half thousand meters is very popular. Uh, it's a trekking peak. Uh, something a little bit more technical is Island Peak, so just over 6,000 metres, but steeper. Uh, but again, it's, it's categorised as a trekking peak. And then going a little bit higher, uh, Aconcagua in Argentina. So um, best part of 7,000 metres. Um, Non-technical, but still a really serious mountain. And if you blow your equipment on that, uh, you know, you're really going to suffer. What sort of temperatures are people yeah. expecting? Yeah, it's a good question. don't really... It's, there's, a real, there's a real range, and, and that I think sometimes when people are on their first big mountaineering trip, they don't really think about the massive range that we have. So we'll start off quite low, obviously, to uh, uh, aid acclimatisation, and as you're climbing, it will get colder and colder and colder. So you might start off a trip, and it could be 20 degrees, yeah. and it's a really sunny, windless you know, a really nice uh, spring summer day in the UK. But by the time you're getting up to six, six and a half thousand metres, uh, particularly if the weather isn't great, it could be minus 20 easily, air temperature. Uh, add a tiny bit of wind onto that and wind chill on open skin, you know, is, is gonna feel pretty chilly. And then if you think you've only maybe, you, you know, when you're climbing and you're moving, you, you're okay, but you've only got to stop for maybe 20, 30 minutes and you're gonna get cold really, really quickly. An average, average summit day is probably around 12 hours. Wow. You know, they're quite big days. You're setting off really, really early. So you're doing probably a quarter of the third of the day in the dark. Um, and of course, sometimes when you set off on those peaks, you might be setting off at 1, 2 a.m. So the, the coldest bit of the night is still to come. The coldest bit is gonna be four or five o'clock in the yeah, morning. Right. So people will start off from a tent at a high camp and think, actually, this isn't too bad. I'm gonna leave my big jacket or whatever, your big gloves or something like that behind. And two or three hours later, it's bolted.